What time is it? I hope he gets here soon. I know he's coming from across town, and I know it is late, but if he wasn't going to come, he would have called. He always does. <gasps> huh? Oh, hey! You actually made it! Well, of course I'm surprised. It's really late. The city is full of traffic, and you had to ride your bike across town to get here. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You don't let anything stop me. Anyways, what took you so long? You went to get food? What's on the menu for tonight? Chips, candy, and my favorite drink? Well, you certainly know how to spoil a lady. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you. I know money is tight. I'm surprised that you even brought anything. Why did I ask you to meet me here on the apartment roof? Because I wanted to share this place with you. Come sit next to me. Don't worry, I promise you won't fall. Even if you do, my bedroom balcony is just there. So you have nothing to worry about. Trust me, okay? I know what you're thinking. What's so special about a rooftop? Is she a weirdo? <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're both a little weird, but what I really wanted to show you was that. Look at it! The city! It looks so beautiful from here, especially at night. You can see all the lights of the buildings, the headlights of the cars stuck in traffic shining bright, and you can see the fancy buildings with the lights flickering on and off. If you put your fingers and make a square, it almost looks like a painting. You know, um, whenever I'm sad or just need a breath of fresh air, I like to come up here, put my headphones on, and just take it all in. The cold breeze of the night, the sight of the beautiful city, and my favorite rock band bursting my eardrums. <laughs> I'm glad we have this apartment, and I appreciate everything my family has given me, but one day I'm going to make enough to take them out of the projects and put them somewhere nice, a nice penthouse or a house for them. <laughs> yeah, like that fancy pants building over there, one with a beautiful view overlooking the city. Now you're getting it. The nice house paired with the nice car touring the city, no, the world, trying out new foods, meeting new people, and trying new things. Oh, all those things are so nice. But most importantly, I want you to be there for me to share those experiences. Um... Listen, I, I don't bring anyone up here. My best friend doesn't even know about this spot. But you, you're special to me. You're always there for me whenever I need you. You're always ready to listen. When I'm upset, you do your best to always make me smile. Hey, that time we um saw that movie doesn't count. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that toys weren't going to die? I hate that pink bear so much. Oh, God. Besides, I saw you getting a little teary-eyed, too. But you know what I mean. <laughs> You're always there to lend me your ear. You always pay attention to what I have to say, and you always make time for me, regardless of what you're doing. And whenever I need help with anything, you're always ready to lend me a hand, and you never ask for anything in return. My last boyfriend, well, you know how he was. I don't really need to repeat that story. The amount of times he just made me feel so bad about myself, and I don't even know why I was with him for so long. It's just, why am I bringing that up? Because 
I wanted to see if maybe you'd be interested in being more than friends. I, I know it's sudden, but ever since I broke up with him a year ago, my feelings for you have changed. And I've always cared for you ever since we sat next to each other in middle school. <laughs> but when you told me last month that you were interested in a different girl from class, I just felt this sharp pain in my chest. This feeling of pain and fear. I didn't really understand it at first, but I think it was fear. I thought if someone realized how precious and amazing you are, that they would just take you away from me. So when you came back and said that she had rejected you, I felt relieved, but also like a little angry. Like how could someone reject someone so kind and funny and smart? If someone would just take the time to know you, they would not regret it. I think the moment it clicked was when I invited you for a dinner with me and my parents. I was so nervous for you to meet them, but that dinner went better than expected. And they shared some embarrassing stories about me, but nothing too bad. <laughs> At least they didn't pull out the photo album, okay? <laughs> anyway, I didn't tell you about it because it's a little embarrassing, but after we finished eating, when you offered to pick up the plates and wash the dishes, my mom whispered something to me. She said, He's already playing the husband role so perfectly. What are you waiting for? <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> I mean, that's when I thought to myself, what am I waiting for? For, for some other girl to take you? And that's why, that's why I decided to bring you up here. Just like I shared this special place with you. I want to share and experience everything in life with you. Wait, did I? Did I just confess to you? <laughs> oh my god. You think I pour my heart out to just anyone? You know how reserved I am. But if you're okay with that, if you give me the chance, I promise to be the only girl you ever need. Please, let me show you what I really mean. How is that? <laughs> I suck at kissing. Well, you're not exactly an expert yourself. <laughs> but you liked it anyway. I did too. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have like plenty of time to practice. So, does that mean you agree to be my boyfriend? You will? I promise I'll do everything I can to be like the most perfect girlfriend ever. I'll try to learn new things, maybe change my hair, try putting on makeup for once in a... Huh? You don't want me to change. You want me to just be me? <laughs> I'm really glad that you like me like that. But all of us have things we can improve on. I can't promise I'll be perfect, but I want to get as close as I can for you. Look, I know it's late and we have class tomorrow and you still have to go home, but um, do you think we can stay here just a little bit longer? This place always helps me relax, but having you here next to me, this feels so much better. Whoa. <laughs> Daring tonight, are we? Putting your arm around my waist and holding me next to you? Where did that come from? Hey, don't move your arm away. I'm just teasing. God. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, to have you hold me while I rest my head on your chest is just, it's perfect. Mm. Your heart is like beating a million miles per hour. Is that because of me? Hmm. At least I know how you feel about me. <laughs> mm. I 
wish that this moment could last forever. The beautiful city skyline with the sound of your heartbeat and the warmth of your love. Mm, you'll always be here for me, right? Pinky promise? Oh, crap. It's my parents. They must have heard us. <laughs> I know what you just said, but just this once, you have to go. I don't want them to get weird and, you know, ground me again. <laughs> Here, go down these stairs and your bike should be on the right. You forgot something. Wait, what did you forget? <laughs> you can be such a dork sometimes. <laughs> now go, I'll see you tomorrow. I really can't.